Hey, this is Pat, and today we are checking out the all-new Liat 7.5 Flow Tour Pants. Now, if you're not familiar with Liat's line, they have they are a South African company, started out in dirt, started making neck braces, moved into dirt apparel, knee braces, and enduro market, and we're starting to see them branch into the ADV segments, and I am stoked specifically about this Flow Tour. I think it's one of the best options of the three they're entering into the market. Now, if you're shopping for a summer hot weather ADV and waterproof option, this is gonna be a great one. If you need something for a little bit cooler months, take a look at their dry tour, which is a laminated waterproof with a thermal inside. And then they also have the multi tour, which is more three to four seasonality that gets you to drop the thermal. You can drop the waterproof and still have some pretty large mesh panels on the front. But the flow tour is more my riding style for ADV, which is hotter climates out there. It is a full polyester ripstop main construction, has mesh and has that removable waterproof liner, which is a 30K waterproof liner, which is better than we've seen from Gore, from other brands out there. So I really like what Liad is doing with a lot of the different options in this line. But before we talk about all the features and break it down on Norman, who I have here on my left, let's talk about the fitment. Norman is six foot three, 225 pounds with a 40 inch belly button waist, typically wears his US jeans in about a 34 by 34, and he is currently in a size extra large. Now, if you look at the sizing chart, which I don't think Liat did a very good job of designing, that would actually put him up in a three extra large, nowhere near where he'd actually be with his fitment. He's down in a size extra large, and and it's fitting him spot on. Again, with that waterproof liner in there, it's a great fit. If, the, if you remove that in there, it's got a little bit of excess, but that wind helps pull it all together. When that air is flowing through, you're gonna get much more breathable. So like I said, ignore the sizing chart, go with what your typical pant sizing is gonna be when it's alphanumeric, and then just go with that. Again, Norman is a 34 by 34, and the size extra large is fitting him just fine. Comes in two different colorways, comes in sizes ranging from small up to four extra large, which a couple short sizes north of the extra large size if you need a little bit less inseam length. And it comes in at the $380 price point for the pants themselves. But let's talk about the overall features that we have with the new Flow Tour. I mentioned before, it is a polyester ripstop main constructions and all the key zones you'd want that high abrasion resistant material to be on the outer seams, down the knees, everywhere else. But where you want that airflow, you have that mesh in the front to help airflow through. You have mesh at the back and all those key zones really help pull that air through and cool you off when you're really moving around on the bike. Again, ADV riding, and this is aimed at more trails ADV riding, it's gonna have your body moving, you're gonna be sweating, so it's nice that they have that option to remove the waterproof that's in there and get that air flowing through. And like I said, that waterproof, I think they're doing some of the best waterproofing out there with a 30K membrane. We've seen Gore-Tex Pro get up in the mid-20s, we've seen other brands get up into the mid-20s when it comes to the water column testing for waterproofing, but keep that in mind, Liat is going above and beyond that uh, rating and really giving you a great uh, stretch option when it comes to that waterproofing. The main construction features bring in that CEAA abrasion resistance rating, so it's gonna be nice and protective should you go down on the asphalt between the trails. But let's start at the top and work our way all the way down. You do have a uh, zipper and micro ratchet system for the closure. You also get suspenders included. You can unsnap them from the front and unzip them as well if you wanna remove them. But I like that Liat is including them just in case you wanna keep the pants up and snug. Or you do have a connection zipper to connect to the matching flow tour jacket. And you can go ahead and secure it as if it's one piece throughout. You get a couple vertical, or I'm sorry, horizontal pockets up the top. You can fit a cell phone in there. I have an iPhone 15. Pro fit in there just fine. But if you are looking for more storage, you do have these waterproof pockets to each side with Velcro flaps and closures, just in case you need a little bit more storage and you wanna make sure that is secure. Big mesh panels down the front, lots of stretch at the crotch and down the inner leg. I like that. Again, on an ADV bike, if you're really riding off-road and you're riding some aggressive trails, having that stretch and that movement is gonna make it much more comfortable. You're gonna feel the pants a lot less. You get CE level one hip armor included at the hips, and then you have CE level two armor included at the knees. And it's actually a beefier version of their normal armor. You get the Velcro, so you can adjust it top and bottom, and you can fit knee braces on underneath here. If you're coming from any bigger brands or any like Mobile or anything like that or other bigger knee braces out there. Keep in mind, it's gonna be a tight fit, but this will fit with most of the Liat design knee braces, which are some of the most popular on the market. But again, CE Level 2 armor, nice and malleable. It's on the thicker side, but that's what we typically see with CE Level 2, and that Velcro helps you be able to move it around should you need to. A little bit of stretch above the knee, big leather panels, and then mesh on the uh, lower side of the calf. But let's get a better look at that uh, leather on there. Can you go turn to the side normal for me? Hit that riding position. 
So you can see you do have the uh, the leather on the inside panel. That's going to be a nice gripper if you're grabbing onto the bike. It's not going to wear down through any of the textiles or fabric. That leather is going to be a nice option. It's got a little bit of the Liat design into it for more grip. And you can really see the amount of stretch as he kicks his leg back, how much stretch is built in around that knee just to make sure that it is fully encompassing and protective. One thing I want to point out at the upper waist is that you see that polyester ripstop is really covering the outer hip, so there's no seam running down the center. That's a high prone area to go down in slide, so I like that they didn't add any seams there to make it more vulnerable or anything like that. A good look at the, uh, the cargo pocket I mentioned before, and you can see the big old Velcro panels that actually help close down and secure over top of boots. These will fit with high boots. Uh, he has some short boots on underneath here. They'll fit with high boots when it comes uh, to the, the cuffs. You just Velcro them down and get them nice and secure. Go Go ahead and turn the back for me, Norman. Let's get a look at that. You can see that they do have the connection zipper to remove the uh, the suspenders if you want, but a nice raised rear yoke with the attachment zipper if you want to attach it to the pants, as well as a bead of stretch that that is actually connected to. I like that, so the zipper's not going to be you know hindering you or anything like that. It's going to be moving with you. More stretch up at the rear yoke, and then a nice polyester ripstop across the seat. That's going to be a high abrasion zone. It's going to wear out over time, so I like that they're putting the beefier materials right across the seat there. Lots of mesh at the back, stretch at the back of the knees, as well as a Velcro calf adjuster if you need to secure the pants in a little bit more or open it up if you are running knee braces. I do like that they gave those options out there. A little bit of my dog's hair in the Velcro at the base. I apologize about that. But then you can see a good look at the back with the Velcro that closes around the boot. You're going to face to the front for me, Norman. But there you have it. Those are the Liat 7.5 Flow Tour pants. In my opinion, the best option that Liat is coming out to with the line if you are riding in the hot seasons. Really, the only other one I'd say to look at is the multi-tour but if you're riding it specifically hot and you don't need the thermal liners or you run hotter like i do like spurgeon does and you're riding really aggressive on the trail i think you can't go wrong with the flow tour pants and the fact that they're including that awesome waterproof liner is just an added reason on why to buy these i'm going to be picking these up i think i'm going to be riding with these once my knee heals up back out on the trails but if you have any other questions about them click that info button that's going to take you over to the product page where you can read other rider reviews and see what other riders are saying about these new pants if you still have questions about that or if the sizing chart has you a little bit confused and you want to talk through it with somebody, reach out to our customer service team. They're all riders, happy to help you get set up for your next ride. I want to thank you for joining Norman and I and checking out the all new Liat 7.5 Flow Tour Pants. I'm Pat, I'll see you in the next video.